sweetheart. You've been like this since I returned. You look worried and disturbed. Talk to me, what is going on? They came to my hospital yesterday. Okay. Who came to your hospital? Talk to me, who are they? She's badly sick and she needs treatment. Sweetheart, I'm lost. What are you talking about? That wicked woman. Same woman who treated me so badly. She also told me that she would never see me become anybody in this world. Can you just imagine? Are you serious? So where are they now? I don't know. I asked them to leave. So that's why? Why do you have to do that? I, uh, I honestly cannot stand the sight of them. Oh. Let me have your hand. Honey, I understand your feelings here. I do. You know to err is human and to forgive is divine. And I need you to always remember the oath you took when you chose this career, which is to save life at all costs, in any situation. No, you don't understand. The sight of them reminds me of every ill treatment I received from them. Yes. They never believed in me. Yes, they I hated do. me. Sweetheart, I understand everything you just said. I understand. And trust me, it won't be easy for anyone in your shoes. That's a fact. But I also need you to know how God works. God works in mysterious ways to uplift people. So I want you to look at it this way. If they had not treated you badly and sent you away from their home, you wouldn't have met with your helper. You wouldn't have achieved the scholarship. You wouldn't have arrived where you are today. So you see, their maltreatment on you yesterday prepared you for the successful doctor that you are today. And also remember the father was nice to you. He treated you nicely like his own daughter. And I'm very sure wherever he is, he won't be happy seeing his daughter suffering over what she was deceived into. Sweetheart, please, find a place in your heart to forgive them. Please. Please. It's fine, okay? You'll be fine. This will pass. Mm, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's okay, it's okay. All right.